Hey guys, Nerky101 here, and welcome back to What If the Straw Hat Pirate Went Back in Time to Save Eight. To those that haven't seen part one, I'll have it linked in the description box down below, and I highly recommend watching it. But for a very quick recap, the current one of Straw Hat were transported back in time to the exact moment after Luffy punched Charlos in the face, made their way to Marine Ford after defeating Kuma. Pacifistas and dealing with Kizaru and joined the Whitebeard Pirates in their mission of saving Ace. Since Luffy was able to hold off Akainu in this scenario, Ace did not die since he did not need to save Luffy and him and Luffy were able to get away even though Ace still tried to fight him to defend Whitebeard's honor. However, in this universe, they never went to Impel Down, and Blackbeard still went through with all of his plans, and Whitebeard still died, and the Straw Hat, while very powerful here, do lack allies, and are not powerful enough to stay and fight. Their goal was just to get Ace out of there. They just don't have the allies in this timeline anymore. They no longer have access to the Grand Fleet, both Samurai of Wano, Fish Man Island, or any of the allies or territories they have built up during their time in the New World. The strongest ally the Straw Hat Pirates currently have would probably be any form of army at the command of Vivi, the Princess of Alabasta, as she is a member of the Straw Hat Pirates, even if she's currently inactive. So the Straw Hat managed to get away with Ace, and somewhere during the battle, Shanks arrived and ended the war. However, I do want to address something I didn't talk about in my original video, which is that Luffy and Shanks do not interact. By the time Shanks arrived, Luffy and the Straw Hat are on the Moby Dick, putting Ace on it and getting ready to escape on the Sunny. Ace is probably currently communicating with someone like Nami, where she will be telling him where they should meet up next to discuss the next steps and the next things that need to be dealt with. Because the Straw Hats just appeared out of nowhere, a million times more powerful than they should be, and helped the Whitebeard Pirates nearly destroy the Marines. However, it's important to note that in the original scenario that I explained in the beginning of the video, the Wano Straw Hats are replaced with themselves exactly where they were when Luffy punched Charlo. They swap places, meaning this entire time, Jinbei has been impelled down, waiting for Luffy to come save him. The moment he realized that he was in the path, Jinbei would sit down, assume the other Straw Hats are there, and start waiting for Luffy, because of course, he knows Luffy will come for him. So now, of course, Ace is saved, Whitebeard is dead, but the Straw Hats are allies with the Whitebeard Pirates at this time, and Luffy is the strongest person on both crews. Compare the Whitebeard Pirates and the Straw Hats, Luffy's number one right now. So then, the Straw Hats, the Whitebeard Pirates, and of course the Red Hair Pirates disembark, Luffy and Shanks do not see each other, and Shanks and the Whitebeard Pirates would see that Whitebeard's body was taken and buried somewhere else. So obviously, the next move of the Straw Hat Pirates will be a rescue attempt of Jinbei, which will involve breaking into Impel Down. Now, I said in the first video that the reason they didn't do that for Ace was because they weren't equipped to do it, but I'm not saying they can't pull it off, especially now that they're allies with the Whitebeard Pirates. I just thought at that time, they had just appeared, and they were on an intense time crunch. Nami and Frankie had to figure out how to get the Sunny to Marine Ford. They didn't have time to go to Impel Down. And also, with the lack of the Frankie Shogun and a ton of other various factors, especially considering at that time period, Impel Down was prepared for a break-in by the Whitebeard Pirate. Because the government was fully aware that there was a chance that Whitebeard would just go to Impel Down. They didn't think it was very likely, but he wouldn't be able to use his devil fruit, but they were aware that was a possibility. And that increased security would make it impossible to get the Sunny to Impel Down without it being blown to bits by the weaponry that the Marine would have at their disposal. So I didn't think it would have been very smart or something the Straw Hat would do. 
I figured they would just go straight to Marine Ford to join up with Whitebeard and kick some Navy ass. But before we really get into the straw hat and what I think they would be doing next, I think we need to talk about the larger ramifications it would have on the world. The Straw Hacks would become an incredibly unique entity because they would be a sudden, out of nowhere, incredibly powerful pirate crew that the government needs to contend with. I think Luffy would see a massive boost in his bounty immediately. I think it would actually possibly be even higher than what it is now. At the very least, I think Luffy is easily getting an increase to 1 billion buried if he shows up and is using advanced conquerors to fight Akainu. And then he has two subordinates in Zoro and Sanji who are also able to fight toe-to-toe -to -toe with admirals. Yeah, the government's gonna notice. And Nami stole the keys for Ace of Cups in this scenario. Usopp was sniping hundreds of people. I mean, the straw hats are broken. I also think, considering Chopper would probably use Monster Points during the War of the Best, that we'll probably see Chopper get an even at least above a hundred million berry bounty here, because they really can't keep claiming he's a pet when the Admiral probably saw him use Monster Points. So now we're in a very, very unique situation where the Strauss have a massive bounty, and they are also probably considered, in terms of raw power, a Yonko level crew. Now, I don't think Luffy would be dubbed a fifth emperor because of this, if only because he just doesn't have any fleet right now. He doesn't have any support. All he has is an alliance with the Whitebeard Pirates, which is still really impressive, but especially without Whitebeard there, I do not think that would be making him worthy of being called an emperor by the entire globe. However, I do believe that he'll become an Emperor of the Sea and be given that title much sooner in this timeline, though I don't know if we're going to get to that in this video. So now, I think the Straw Hats need to come up with a plan to invade Impel Down, and the first thing they should do, I think at the advice of Robin, would probably be to call on the Whitebeard Pirates and formulate a plan with them to invade Impel Down. This would also mean that we would get an arc where Luffy and Ace would team up. And in this case, Luffy would be the superior combatant, which would be really fascinating. It's unclear even in Dressrosa who the stronger brother is, if it's Sabo or Luffy. However, invading Impel Down by just going right up to it is really not smart, and I think they would need a little bit more help. And at this very time, multiple islands are in intense duress because Whitebeard has fallen, and they no longer have the protection of a Yonko. So I think the Straw Hats and the Whitebeard Pirate would head to Fifth Man Island, which Luffy would try to claim before Big Mom does. Now we don't know when Big Mom took Fifth Man Island, but it's safe to assume it was pretty soon after the War of the Best ended, so it's possible that Luffy would beat her there because he would want to actively gain control of it. I don't think it would be very hard for Luffy to do. He could go there with the former Whitebeard pirates who could even vouch for him. As Whitebeard used to have control of it, they could vouch for Luffy, vouch that he's incredibly powerful and that the Straw Hats are soon going to be a force to reckon with. And I think probably because they trust the Whitebeard pirate, they would agree to be put under Luffy's protection. I also think they would just like Luffy. He's a very nice guy. They may also hear about how he brought down Arlong and he's planning to go rescue Jimbe. I think the fact that he, one, defeated Arlong, and is also going to rescue Jimbe, who is kind of a big deal in Smith Man Island, would be very beneficial for them wanting to ally with him. In fact, since I believe Neptune would probably also want to save Jimbe, they could also send some Smith Men to help the Straw Hat with their break in into Impel Down. I think that would be very helpful during the process of actively getting to the prison when they're in their sea battle, fighting their way through the defenses the prison has on the water. They would have people who would be able to swim through the water in the calm belt, up to Impel Down, jump up and fight. Because the majority of the pirates that are on the ships can't get in the water and swim there either because they had devil fruit or because they're needed on the Moby Dick or the South and Sunny defending the ship. Once we get in, things are going to be really, really messy. The first thing they need to do is obviously get all the keys to all of Jinbei's stuff. Now luckily, if they're unable to get their hands on the keys, it's not the end of the world, 
Because, of course, Jim Bay is at the very least not a Devil Fruit user, so he's not encumbered by Sea Stone. I think the real disadvantage the Thrasts have here is that they have no knowledge of the prison. The only one there that's been there before is Luffy, and he's an idiot, and he doesn't remember. Maybe you'll say I'm judging Luffy too harshly, but I'm pretty sure he doesn't remember the layout of Impel Down and how to get to level 6 easily. Now, it's at this point that Luffy would also probably, be he's not a total idiot, think about how he also has to break out some of the other friends he made in Impel Down, like the members of the Kamabaka Kingdom. That's an Ivanka, and also Mr. 3, and he definitely will want to save Mr. 2. You know what? It's entirely possible we're looking at a universe where Mr. 2 joins the Straw Hat Pirates. But I don't think they would have much difficulty. I think Nami and Robin would easily be able to get the information on where the keys are, and then stealing the keys, as we proved in the last video, is no problem for Nami. I mean, it's easy to forget because she's kind of the woman of magic weather now, but her epithet is not weather witch. Her epithet is cat burglar Nami. She's an amazing thief, and she's been stealing for years. Some may argue she's one of the best pet pockets in the world, in addition to being the very best navigator in the world. So I don't think Nami would have much trouble getting the keys, and I think the Straw Hat, especially with Robin's ability, and how she can find using the Hanahana no she could probably figure out where the keys are kept, and Nami could get them. I think, like in the last arc, something to remember about the Straw Hat in the dark, is that the characters who are normally scared, are not going to be scared. This is very much like Eddie's Lobby or the last video, like Marineford, where the Straw Hats are all very motivated. This isn't the kind of situation where Nami's not going to want to do this. Oda makes a lot of jokes about how Nami, Chopper, and Usopp can be kind of cowardly at times, but the thing you need to remember is that Nami had no problem walking up and fighting Kali Vut during Eddie's Lobby. When her friends are in danger, Nami's very motivated. So I do not see any scenario where Nami is not headlong running to get those keys if it means saving Jimbe. And I honestly don't think this is very difficult for the Straw Hat. I do think they would need to stick together more. I don't think it would be a very good idea for many of them to go off on their own. I think it's most likely that Sanji would go with Nami and Robin to focus on the keys because Sanji can handle mostly anything they come across. If the only major problem Sanji may face is if they encounter Magellan, but I think it's safe to say that Luffy's going to go after Magellan directly. Luffy would, one, know they have to fight Magellan to pull this off, but also knowing Luffy, he probably wants to rematch with Magellan now that he's way stronger. I can also imagine that Impel Down and his staff would be incredibly confused, because why are the Straw Hats here? They have no reason in this timeline to be here. It is not known that Jinbei is a straw hat. I think it's also worth noting that Impel Down has at this point suffered a massive breakout. Blackbeard still went to Marine Ford. Blackbeard still did his whole plan, meaning he still went to Impel Down due to his warlord status. He still went in there, broke out all the level stiff prisoners, but I do think he would have left Jinbei there, only because he probably knew Jinbei would immediately turn against him, because he would know that Ace would have been held in level 6, and he's probably aware that Ace would have at the very least have told him about that. And that's assuming another member of the Whitebeard Pirate hadn't already told Jinbei what was going on, and that Blackbeard had killed one of his crewmates. Blackbeard's not stupid. He knows what Jinbei's stance on everything will be. He knows that Jinbei will be angry that he arrested Ace and turned him over to the Marine, and he knows Jinbei will be even angrier that he murdered one of his crewmates. He knows there's no scenario where Jinbei doesn't attack him. Now, this does mean that Crocodile will not be there. Crocodile was probably released by Blackbeard. Shiryu has also gotten away. Shiryu isn't there either. So that's a whole nother can of worms the Straw Hats don't need to deal with. The only real threat considering the fact that they're currently fighting Yoko level fighters in Wano, is Magellan. The I'm sure the Straw Hat can by and large handle the guards of Impel Down. I don't think any of them are really going to struggle with those. Maybe some of the deeper level ones some will give some of them trouble, but I think overall they'll be fine. Even the weaker Straw Hat, when they're splitting up to go do their various tasks, or if they need to split up for any reason, can probably always be accounted for, because the Whitebeard Pirates are assisting them, remember. So, like, Marco can go with Usopp if he has to, and Marco can help protect Usopp. 
I really don't see a scenario where any of the weaker straw hats or any dead weight here. Because the White Bear Pirates are here and they want to save Jinbei just as much. Jinbei's their friend too. And that being the case, I think level 4 would be the hardest for some of the weaker straw hats. I think some of the weaker straw hats who aren't per se superhuman like Nami may struggle with the weather conditions in level 4. It may just be so incredibly hot, they may not be able to handle it, but I'm sure they could be carried. I'm sure Sanji would be more than willing to carry Nami through level 4. Also, level 5 not a problem at all. Frozen Hell, you've got Ace. Ace can make a sun and melt the snow and heat them all up if he wants to. Ace is a living, walking heater. Chopper has fur, so he doesn't need to worry. I think Chopper could probably survive in level 5 pretty well. Between Ace and Luffy's ability to apparently create fire with Red Hawk, I'm sure they're good. The only real problem I could see there being would be if any of the Straw Hats ran into a direct confrontation with Magellan. Because even with some members of the Whitebeard Pirate, like, I don't know if Ace could protect Usopp from Magellan, personally. I don't know if Robin and Marco can beat Magellan. I guess with Marco, it would really depend on how his regeneration powers work and how that healing works. Like, would he be able to regenerate from the poison? But if we're assuming what I said earlier is true, and Luffy would just actively seek out Magellan, which shouldn't be too hard, because he could just beat up guard, get information, and combine that with observation hockey. And I'm pretty sure Magellan would, of course, be looking for Luffy, who would be the strongest person there. I'm also assuming this happens a few weeks after the War of the Best ends, which means a couple of things. One, I don't think any of the major staff changes to Impel Down would have taken effect yet. But I also think while they may still be weakened from the Blackbeard escape, I do think Magellan will at least be healed enough to fight Luffy. Now this is definitely the hardest fight in this what if so far, actually I think. I think it's definitely harder than Luffy's fight with Akainu, because I think Luffy kind of needs to beat Magellan here. Magellan is just too dangerous to everybody else in the area. He's also not distracted by a white beard like Akainu was. I think that's probably the biggest thing to note. That Akainu and the Admiral were focusing on an entire war of Yoko, the world's strongest man, white beard. And but with Magellan, if he goes after anybody else, most of the other characters here are screwed. Luffy just had so many advantages in this version of his fight with Magellan that I don't see a scenario where he wins. One, he now has armament hockey. Two, he's immune to most poisons, which isn't going to help Magellan fight him at all. He's immune to most of them. His armament is a thing. He also now has conquer coding, meaning he can hit Magellan without making direct contact with him, which nullifies the danger of his poison armor even more. So, Luffy, considering he's able to fight Kaido, has armament, can protect himself, and can damage this guy without even touching him, I think he has enough advantage that he can pull this off. He's incredibly powerful. He's been fighting Kaido one-on-one, -on -one, off and on for a while now. He has had help, but he's still currently 1v1-ing Kaido, even if he's weakened. And he has to way around a lot of Magellan's hacks now. So, I think Luffy could take this. I think it would actually still be a pretty hard fight. I think just knowing Luffy's personality, he probably wouldn't sink enough. And he wouldn't be able to immediately always get around the poison. It would still land on him. And I think it could still cause him a fair amount of pain. But I do think if Luffy got serious, he could probably beat Magellan at this point. I feel pretty confident saying Wano Arc Luffy, the one that's fighting Kaido right now, could beat Magellan if he was that full power. And once Magellan is down, I feel like they can probably just cakewalk the rest of Impel down. Shiri is not there, and at this point, I'm pretty confident 99% of people that get in their way, Luffy can probably just conquer his hockey. I mean, he can just knock them out. Most of these people aren't beating Luffy. He beat most of these people pre-time skip. Once Magellan is down, I'm sure they'll head straight for level 6, and along their way, to Sandy's dismay, or actually, let's give Sandy some credit, I'm sure he doesn't actually want Yvonne Cox to remain in prison, so probably it's not any happiness, honestly. They would go and pick up the people in New Kama Land. Luffy would probably also want to pick up Bon Clay, 
Mr. Three and Buggy. I don't know about Buggy. I don't know if Lily would care about Buggy or even remember he was there. But I feel like Mr. Three and Bon Clay were essential for getting Ace out and saving him the first time. So I do think Luffy, especially Bon Clay, who we actually really like, would probably go out and free them as well. Now, once he frees Bon Clay, I mentioned it earlier, but Luffy really likes Bon Clay. It's entirely possible he would turn around to Bon Clay and say, hey, you seem cool, join my crew. Bon Clay, having really nothing else going on right now, he got out of jail that he was supposed to be in forever, would probably accept. He seems to like Luffy. He would see how far the Straw Hats would go, both in when they saved Ace, and when they saved Vivi and Alabasta, and when they saved Jim Bay, and probably think... <coughs> he would probably think he respects these guys. And then he would, of course, join the crew, which is awesome. Bon Clay the Straw Hat now. That's great. And then on their way, they would probably release everybody else. I think, as I mentioned earlier, I don't know about Buggy. I think Buggy would manage to weasel his way out somehow and join them on their mission to rescue Jinbei, knowing that at the end he'll get out of it and fell down. And Buggy, for all intents and purposes here, is in a completely different position, which we'll talk about later once they get out. I think they'll go, they'll get Jinbei, and now I mentioned that Blackbeard would probably have freed Crocodile, but if he didn't, he would probably just remain and impel down. Now, I don't really think it really matters, because we're probably not going to be discussing Crocodile at all in this one scenario. I'm going to assume Blackbeard freed him, but I just want to say, if Luffy has a choice in this universe, I don't think he'd let Crocodile out. I don't think he has any reason to. He doesn't need Crocodile's help. He has the crew of the Whitebeard Pirate, plus Buggy, Bon Clay, and Mr. Three. So, Crocodile better hope he got out via Blackbeard, being Luffy definitely not helping him. Once they get Jinbei, they would just make their way up and out of the prison, where the rest of the Whitebeard Pirate and the fifth man that came with them would have been defending the Sunny and the Moby Dick. They would load up on the ships and leave, and no one would be the wiser. I think the core aspect of this that's important is that Impel Down would not be prepared for the Straw Hats and the White Beard Pirates to show up the same Jim Bay. They would just not see it coming. This would be probably the most shocking thing to ever happen. Probably the most shocking thing the Straw Hats have ever done, even compared to them like charging Eddie's lobby to save Robin. Yet at least there's a logical connection to be made there when you hear about it. Like, imagine you're in charge, like you're Sengoku. You hear the Straw Hat busting into any lobby to save Nico Robin. Nico Robin's a member of the Straw Hat Pirate. You probably hear that and you probably go, Oh, yeah, pirates do that sometimes. Like, Roger did stuff like that. Whitebeard would totally do that. I know a lot of guys who would do that. That makes sense. You hear they broke into Impel Down after saving Ace at Marineford a couple of weeks later to rescue Jinbei, of all people. And don't be confused. You'll be like, why are the Straw Hats there? Are they just helping out the Whitebeard Pirate? Why are the, like, what? Because they have no connection. They don't know Jinbei's a Straw Hat. And then Jinbei, of course, when they escape, would rejoin, I guess, the Straw Hat Pirate. So then the Straw Hat Pirates now, technically, have two new members. Jinbei and Bon Clay, who, that's awesome. And I would love to see the interaction between Sanji and Bon Clay. But on the Straw Hats. I think that would be really cool. Especially given the fact that they fought in Alabasta. But now the Straw Hats can, I guess, just sail off and go on to their next plan, which I'll be going into more in the next part of this video series. That's right, I'm making a part three to this. But I think after this, this is where they would separate from the Whitebeard Pirate and return to the New World and start setting plans in motion to kind of start gearing towards the goals they currently have in the manga. Gathering rogue ponies and taking down all four emperors and saving the people of Wano. But that's for the next video. But before we get to that, I do want to talk about where the other characters are in this situation. I'm going to focus more on the White Bear Pirates in the next video. But I think the White Bear Pirates would, as I said earlier, just go on their own way. Luffy and Ace would have a goodbye. And I think they would actually agree not to interfere in each other's adventures. Unless they called on one of the crew as an ally. For example, I don't think Ace would be hesitant to aiding Luffy if Luffy called on the White Beard Pirate as an ally of the Straw Hat crew. Just like I think Luffy, being the stronger pirate at this point, would have any hesitation 
to go help the White Beer Pirates if they ask for it. Though I don't think the White Beer Pirates are the kind of group of pirates to do that. I don't see a scenario where Ace called up Luffy and said, We need your support, Straw Hat. I don't think Ace would ever do that. He'd probably rather die than do that. Mr. Three, I'm honestly not sure. Maybe he's doing the White Beard Pirate. Maybe he'd retire. Maybe he'll even go seek out Crocodile. Who really knows what Mr. Three is going to do? I honestly don't know. What I do know is that Buggy is in a really bad position. He's not joining the Straw Hat. He's definitely not going to join the White Beard Pirate. I don't think he has any interest. I mean, Buggy knows the White Beard Pirates. I just don't think he's interested in joining their crew. Especially because they were a rival of his original crew, the Roger Pirate. I don't know, he may even feel that joining the White Beard Pirate would be a disrespect to Roger. Who knows how Buggy would view that. But Buggy, at this point, he doesn't have his army. He didn't get to trick a ton of people during the war of the best and stuff into following him. So I think, at this point, he's stuck basically probably in the New World. I would assume that the Straw Hats maybe would give him a ride into the New World. Or maybe the White Beard Pirate would be. They know who he is. But either way, Buggy's gonna end up totally outclassed, probably in the New World. He's a one dick criminal, and I don't see Buggy ever retiring. As far as we know, Buggy may have been a pirate his entire life. He may not have a concept of, like, civilian life, like Jake may not, either. So, speaking of Jake, I think Buggy, in this scenario, if he really doesn't want to die, may swallow his pride, go track down the territory of the Red Hair Pirate, contact Jake, and say... If that offer still open, can I join your crew? Which would be amazing. Imagine Buggy. It is in a terrible position. He got out of Impel Down. He had no allies, no crew. He screwed to hell. And he goes to the Red Hair Pirate. Goes with the Jinx and is like... He hates Jinx. He does not like Jake, but he doesn't want to die. You could even do a cool Shonen friendship thing. Where Jake immediately is like, Of course, best buddy. Buggy, like, oh my god, guys, this is my best friend Buggy from back in the day when we were with Roger. Guys, let's throw a party. Welcome, Buggy. And he's just so blown away by Jake's kindness. Maybe him and Jake make up. Like, maybe Buggy gets over it. And it's like, you know what? Jake and me are friends. Like, Jake is a really good friend of mine. We're basically brothers, really. Because I just don't see a way Buggy could survive in the New World when he wanted by the government like this. Because as they say, in the New World, you either ally with a Yoko or you fight them directly. And Buggy's not going to fight with Yoko directly. He can't just go back. But the Rangers are going to be hunting him like crazy because he's an escapee from Impel Down. So I feel like in this situation, the Red Hair Pirates are his best bet. This would also mean, uniquely, that Buggy doesn't become a warlord, so that slot will have to be filled by another pirate. Which would be interesting to think about, who takes over that role? Who would take over Buggy for this of another warlord? We're going to talk about all that in the next video, but guy, we're ending this video in a very different place. It's a couple of weeks after Marine Board. Luffy has allied with the White Beard Pirate, led a successful break-in and rescue from Impel Down. He had taken down Magellan. He had gained Fifth Man Island as his territory and probably pissed off Big Mom by doing that. Big Mom may even make a play for it, which we'll talk about in the next video. But yeah, the Straw Hats are now entering the New World with their fully assembled crew plus the newest member, Bon Clay. And they are ready to refocus on the original goal, which was to defeat the Four Emperor and get all the rogue ponies and reach One Piece. However, we have a bit of a problem. There's a bit of a cliffhanger for this video, which is the fact that because there's no time skip in this universe, it's only been 18 years since Odin died. Luring real trouble. That means that none of the scabbards, Momonosuke, Kinemon, none of those characters have arrived in the future yet. They have to wait two years. So, what's gonna happen during those two years? What major changes will happen? What will the Straw Hat do? Well, we can discuss all that and more in the next video. What if the Straw Hat went back in time? Part 3. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Tell me your thoughts on this scenario in the comments down below. Leave a like if you enjoyed the video. Subscribe for more videos. Check out my PayPal if you want to support the channel, which is linked in the description box down below. Follow me on Twitter if you're interested in seeing my rambling and my thoughts on various anime, manga, and comic books in real time. You can also follow me on Twitch, where I sometimes stream live reactions to shows 
that will later be posted on YouTube, cut down in an edited format. And above all else, guys, have a fantastic day. And remember to be look out for part three of this amazing What If series that I'm having a lot of fun making.